Last game of the season between the Saints and the Falcons, the rivalry you always forget about, and we got drama. We got a coach that's mad. Saints had a huge second half. They're up big. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. Falcons just looking to have some fun. Throw the ball. Easy interception. Now look at number 55 on the Saints. He's like, hey, why don't you just stay back, 65? Be cool. Don't do anything. And 65 is like, yeah, all right. All right. Now 55 moves on to number 63. And he's like, hey, man, same thing. Just be cool. We don't want to have to do anything harsh. And 63 is like, nah, fuck that. I'm going to make the play. 55 is like, whoa, 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 whoa. I tried my hardest. And they don't score. Gets tackled. Goes down at the one-yard line. No. Should have been more fun than that. So coach says, let's take a knee. Victory formation. Now the players, they, turns out, had a different agenda. And they're like, sure, we'll do your victory formation but we're not taking a knee. We're giving it to our guy who's going to score another touchdown. Salt in the wound. Jameis with a big fist pump. They're all pumped up and excited because number 21, Williams, he led the league in touchdowns last year. Didn't have a single touchdown this season, and they wanted to get their dude a touchdown, and no one likes Atlanta, says that lady. Look at them. They're all excited, flexing like that's all you, trying to give them the game ball. They're pumped up for their dude. They got him a touchdown. Now, Kind of a weak touchdown, but it's a touchdown, and he's celebrating, and Jimmy Graham says, hey, man, proud of you. You earned that. So it looks like they were all in on it. The game ends. Quarterback shake hand. The coaches go to shake hands, and the coach of the Falcons, former coach of the Falcons, I should say, is not happy. He goes, why the fuck did you do that, man? Why the fuck did you do that? That's fucking bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. And now you can hear a little on the hot mic where he says, What are you doing? And he's going at Dennis Allen. I understand that. I understand that. You can kind of hear the Saints coach say they did that on their own if you listen real close. What are you doing? And he's going at Dennis Allen. And he's going at Dennis Allen. They did that shit on their own. You can very faintly hear it. And he says, I understand that. I understand that. I understand that you're mad. So, I mean, one coach, former coach, says, That's bullshit. And that's fucking bullshit. And I think his gripe is, one, don't score on us garbage time like that just to run it up and rub it in our faces. Two, if you're going to do that, don't go in victory formation where some of our guys might get hurt because they're not expecting it to run through. And both coaches obviously got asked about this after the game. And here's a little bit of what they had to say. And that's not who we are. That's not how we operate. Uh, We should have taken a knee. So uh, I want to apologize to them. Look, they can do whatever they want. There's no rules against it. You know, like I said, we, we didn't stop them in the second half. They can do whatever they want. They asked me about getting Jamal a touchdown at the end. I said I wanted to take a knee. We put victory out there, and the guys kind of wanted to get him a touchdown, and they, they did that on their own. That's not that's unacceptable. That's their prerogative. It's also my prerogative to tell them how I feel. Whether people like that or not, oh, well. But like I said, credit to them. I mean, they do whatever they want there. So Arthur seemed pretty upset after He the should be. That he, he should be. He should be. So a pretty mutual understanding there. One coach says, yeah, I was mad. It's my prerogative to be mad, whether you like it or not. So I shared my opinion, you know. I'm a man who shares my feelings. Other coach says, he should be mad. I agree with him. I'd be mad too. Hell, I am mad. Team disobeyed me. I told him to take a knee. They said, nah, we want to get Williams a touchdown. I guess. I think that's what happened. So then they went and asked Jameis Winston, backup quarterback, who was in for that snap, and he says... And I asked the guys, I said, guys, like, what do you, what do you want to do? Yeah. We know how much Jamal means to this team, and, and I understood from yeah. D.A.'s perspective. So I, I, I give him that. Yeah. Yeah, but D.A. didn't condone that at all. Yeah. You know, he, he didn't. However, uh, we decided as a team to do it, and I didn't want to disrespect him. That was not my intention. Uh, my intention was to lead the team that I've been with the entire year, and we made a collective decision that we wanted to get one of our guys who they fight with blood, sweat, and tears every game in the end zone. And uh, I'm going to feel good about that. I'm going to feel good about that. We got our dude a touchdown. Wasn't about them at all. It was about us. What do you guys think? I'm sure there will be a civil conversation in the comments. Go. And thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring this video. Appreciate you as always and appreciate everyone who watches them and enjoys them. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, that helps a ton. Hopefully we get some fun stuff in the playoffs.